Uh, I'm doing the Thursday check-in over again because we had some issues. Seems to be a habit with me. I'm not sure what that's all about. But anyway, I started last week or the last time I uh, did a check-in with uh, sharing with you the text for hope from AHS, Alberta Health Services, sends out a encouraging text every day. So I'm going to share with you Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays. So today or Tuesdays was helping others is a way to also help ourselves. Spread an encouraging word, stay calm and offer support. Uh, Wednesday said, uh, when overwhelmed, take things day by day. If this is overwhelming, take things hour by hour. That is excellent advice. I love that. Because if I can't do it day by day, I'm going to have to do it hour by hour, sometimes minute by minute. And today's this morning is if you feel intense anxiety, pause and take a moment to experience what you're doing right now. What do you hear? What do you see? What do you smell? And what do you feel? So those intentional things of being able to take a breath and uh, and just look at the day again and just acknowledge what you're feeling. Um, we filmed this morning, so uh, that's why it took me a little bit longer to redo my check-in. And I'm home now, as you can see, in my house. Um, but I want you all to have a great rest of the weekend. Uh, one of the things that we um, are acknowledging is that in the midst of this COVID-19 reality, we also have to deal with other tragedies. So we're now dealing with uh, helping send comfort and support to people in Fort McMurray with all the flooding that's going on and uh, to the friends and family of the victims of the helicopter crash uh, in Greece. Um, the Canadian helicopter crash. So, um, there's, so there's lots of, lots of things to worry about and to think about and to pray about. And so we acknowledge that. Uh, check out the bulletin for uh, Wanda's uh, email or announcement, sorry, about birthday Sundays. So we usually celebrate birthday Sundays in church and it's the end of April and we would have normally acknowledged all the April birthdays. Um, so in her announcement from a couple weeks ago, it's still there. Uh, she, our hospitality team and her are asking people to um, let us know, give us a shout out of when it's your birthday. Um, and uh, four people let us know about their birthdays. And so I'm going to give a shout out to Jean and to Elaine and to Hal and to Catherine. Oh, almost missed you, Catherine. Not that I forgot you because I sent you a card. <laughs> um, so birthdays, happy birthday to all of you and to all of those that have missed our birthday Sundays uh, since we've gone online. So, um, so have a great day birthday, however you celebrate it, and continue to celebrate. We can milk this for a little bit longer now that we can use COVID-19 as an excuse to milk it a little bit longer. Um, so there's also treats involved in that. So look at that uh, email or that announcement, sorry, from Wanda and uh, and see if you want to take advantage of, of maybe getting a treat to celebrate or continue to celebrate your birthdays. Um, so what did I want to end with? Oh, some of your wonderings. And so uh, I did acknowledge that you're sometimes people wonder about my rainbow, all my rainbow stuff. Um, as you know, uh, St. Thomas is an affirming ministry, but I am a very affirming person um, and try to be mindful of that in uh, my everyday life. So that's why I um, have these visual um, acknowledgements of that. Um, I also have the, uh, the red dress which is um, uh, a remembrance of the missing and murdered missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. Um, and it's a nationwide uh, movement. Uh, so if you see a red dress hanging, our red dress hanging in the church, that's what that's all about. And to keep that in mind and to keep those folks involved in mind. Um, and the last thing I did want to acknowledge is my diaconal pin. It's a pin and a pendant. Um, and so I am a diaconal minister in the United Church of Canada, which is equal to ordained. We just get uh, educated a little bit differently. Um, and so my focus as a diaconal minister is pastoral care, education, and social justice. So that's why I kind of get heated about some things that I'm passionate about. All right. So that is it for today. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you some more things about what you might be wondering about um, in the future. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that I wear black on Thursdays today. Well, this is my black, but today I'm wearing this because we're, we filmed today, but normally on Thursdays I would wear all black and that is to um, acknowledge 
um, and think about uh, women around the world that are in uh, violent or domestic violent or any kind of violent situation. And so violence against women um, is what that's all about. Um, so if you wear black on Thursdays, uh, you can acknowledge that as well. All right, so have a great rest of the weekend and I will see you on Sunday. Take care.